The name of this series is Marianne 2019. At the start of the story, we are introduced to the character Emma, who was a famous writer. She used to write stories about a witch whose name was Marianne. People used to like her stories a lot. And that's why Emma was so famous. She had been doing this work for many years. But now she stops writing stories about Marianne. Because now she felt that instead of such scary stories, I should write something good. She had only written in her book that Marianne which used to come in a girl's dreams and bothers her. And her story had become very famous. This book earned a lot of money. But often Emma gets very upset thinking about her old life. After which she drinks a lot. The girl who works with her, who is also a very good friend of hers, takes a lot of care of Emma. Now, here we come to know one more thing. That Marianne used to come in Emma's dreams herself. Which used to scare her a lot. It is very common for a writer to meet the fans and sign their books. Similarly, one day when Emma was doing all this, a girl comes to her who was a very big fan of hers. She says that Marianne has come into this world. She has put my mom in her control, because of which, now there is a threat to you and your loved ones. If you stop writing about Marianne, everyone will die. The thing to note here was that this girl's mother was scaring Emma in her dreams, because Marianne's soul was inside her. Then Emma does not believe these things. So that girl takes her life to prove her point and also leaves a locket saying that give it to my mom. After this incident, Emma was worried about her own mom and dad. She calls her home but no one picks up the phone, because she had been living alone for many years and did not go home. Now, she gets a little worried about this. She goes to her town with her companion. Her parents were safe and sound there. She spends the night with them, and the next morning, she goes to meet the fan's mom, who took her life. Coming here, Emma came to know that. Marianne's soul is really inside that girl's mom who tells Emma that you will have to keep writing about me. If you do not do this, it will not be good. I will inflict harm upon your parents. Now, here Emma meets her childhood friends. They were meeting Emma after many years. Emma loved these four friends a lot, especially one of her male friends who was now married. But now she does not write anything. So her mom and dad disappear which was Marianne's job. Marianne's soul used to control everyone with black magic. Here we are shown a bag made of leather, which means that wherever she is, she will keep everyone under her control. Emma starts writing her story again, and whatever she was writing, everything was becoming true. Immediately after which Emma's mom came back to her home. But her condition was very bad, because she was still in Marianne's custody. She started criticizing Emma, but her dad was still missing, because Marianne wanted Emma to keep writing about her. Here an inspector helps her, who knew about black magic very well, and Emma had a very good friend. But the strange thing was that Marianne could also control people's minds during the day and she could show whatever she wanted. Now as soon as Emma comes to this town, we understand what happened, who was she and why she used to come in Emma's dreams again and again. So Marianne was born on Tuesday in 1587. And when she was seven years old, her house was burnt to ashes, from where only Marianne and her cat came out. Then her sister raised Marianne, but that place also destroyed soon. Here the strange thing was that everyone died. Only Marianne and her cat survived. Then at the age of 17 she got married and she had a son. But when he turned 3 years old Marianne kept him close to the fire. Because of which he was burned to death. Then she had two more children. But one day she took them to the deep forest. But when she came back, she had no children with her. She was alone, which meant that Marianne must have killed her too. She did a very dangerous thing after returning. She cut her husband's throat. In front of the demon, she married his companion devil. It means that Marin used to do activities like black magic. Later, some priests and some people caught her, because many adults and children were killed. Then everyone put a cloth of cross on her and hung her. But Marianne had a promise that she would never give up. In the future, I will come again, and trouble you and your children. Because I never go empty-handed. I always take something with me. So now she was buried 15 feet under the ground, and she buried the agreement she had married the demon, so that she could be burned. The priests failed to burn her so she was buried, that is, Marianne was never finished properly. Her grave was right in front of Emma's house, that's why Emma went to her once in her childhood, where there was a small hole. When she looked inside the hole, she heard a strange voice, that Marianne wants to come to the world through her, that is, Marianne had chosen Emma, that she will bring her back to this world. Since then Emma used to have the scary dreams of Marianne, she was seeing Marianne since her childhood. So when she grew up a little, she told her friends about all this. All of them together at night cast a spell to call Marianne's soul, in which they were successful. But Marianne's soul comes inside Emma and scares everyone, because of which one of her friends was very scared, 
And Emma also stops talking. Now when Marianne's soul came inside her, she said to Emma's friends that those whom you love are in danger from me. Later, the friend who wasn't talking to Emma. Emma goes to her younger sister in school to talk to her. So that she can talk through her. In which Marianne came and killed her friend's sister. And Emma had seen all this with her own eyes. But Emma did not tell anyone about this. Because she was very scared because of this incident. Emma goes to the church and meets the father. The father tells her that Marianne's soul has joined you. And she won't let you off the hook easily. If you want the good of all then leave this town and go. Now Emma starts doing bad things in her town. Because of which her parents sent her out. And then she became a famous writer. And because of her past, she was always under the influence of alcohol and sad. Now the story comes again in the present time. Till now Emma was suffering from the pain of her friend's sister's death. The surprising thing here was that Marianne's soul had been after Emma for the past 15 years. She was scaring her. The writing of Emma and the person about she wrote in the story was no one else but Emma. Emma did not write all this thinking. In fact, all this was her dream, which she had written in the form of stories. Now Emma goes to the fangirl's mother and tries to kill her. Because she had Marianne's soul inside her. But Emma's inspector friend forbids her to do this. Marianne's soul inside the fangirl's mother tells Emma, if you do not write a book about me, your parents will die. And it happened when Emma goes home and sees her mom was dead. So she goes to that girl's mom and tries to kill her again. But this time she saves Emma's companion. Because of which Marianne's soul had left that woman's body. And while going, she also harms Emma's companion. The inspector found Emma's dad. He takes him to the hospital. Here we find out one more thing. That when Marianne comes into someone's body and goes back, then she takes something from that person's body. For example, before leaving that woman's body, she took her eyes and blinded her. Emma now meets that woman again who had become normal. She says that you have to keep writing about her. If you stop writing, she will kill everyone. Or like me, everyone will be harmed. After hearing all this, Emma was very worried. On the other hand, the inspector investigated this case very well. He meets Emma and tells her that the stories you have written in your book, it somewhere happened like a bear had killed the baseball team. Everyone said that we heard the bear speaking, which meant that Marianne was making Emma write all these stories, by which all this used to be true in the real world. It used to happen that whoever used to read about Marianne, the one used to dream about her. The more you dream about her, the more powerful Marianne will be. And the rest of the people who used to die, she used to get the powers from them. And in this way, Marianne had joined himself with Emma. Here Emma's inspector friend plans that all of us together will call Marianne which by her real name Marianne. By which she will have to come. Because the witch cannot deny her real name. But Marianne had stolen the children of Emma's two friends. So that she can blackmail Emma. All her friends go back to the same lighthouse. Where they called Marianne 15 years ago by doing magic. Now before that, as soon as they called her again, she came inside Emma's companion. Who was in the hospital, and Emma's dad also sees her there. She was about to kill the nurse but then she calls her friend Marianne. And she leaves Emma's companion. Their plan was that when she comes here, they will imprison her soul inside the dog and tie it somewhere. So that she does not harm anyone else. But Marianne was very clever. She comes inside the inspector and kills him. And also Emma's one more friend. Now all of Emma's friends wanted her to keep writing about Marianne. So that everyone's life is saved. The same night when Emma was at her home, her male friend comes, whom she loves. And these two spend the night together. But when it is morning, there was no one there. Then the bell rings and when Emma goes and sees. There was a church father at the door, who show her the sign of the cross. Because of which Emma was scared. He then started hitting her. Because of which Emma's mouth started bleeding. She quickly goes to her room. Because she couldn't hear the spells that father was reciting in her ears. The father sees that she has written another story. That she shouldn't write. The father tells her that today is Tuesday. And again Marianne has been born and that you are Emma. Marianne is in your body. But she refuses to believe this. But when the father asks her that you are Marianne, she says yes. Marianne's soul comes inside Emma, harms the father by shooting of her her feet. In the whole story, we have been shown that whoever has Marianne in their body, that one cannot deny the fact that the person is not Marianne. Emma herself knows this because Marianne's soul has come inside her, who now wanted to go to hell with him. She takes Emma to her grave. She finds Marianne's dead body that was still safe and sound. She tells Emma to come with me to my world. In the real world, Emma's friend understood that she was in danger. She goes to Emma's house and puts a powerful locket around her neck, which could save her life, because Emma's body was in this world. Only her soul was taken by Marianne into hell. Because of this, Emma refuses to go with her to hell. That means Emma had come to her senses. Emma wanted to kill herself, so that along with her, Marianne also dies. 
but Marianne was stopping her. There, the father also goes to Marianne's grave and wanted to set it on fire so that he could save Emma. There, Marianne's world was in hell. Emma also had a baseball bat. With its help, she beats Marianne's soul, and in the real world, Emma's friend saves her from shooting herself. The father also sets fire to Marianne's grave, but Marianne's soul had pulled him inside, in which Marianne's soul burns and dies. Along with that, the father is also killed. Emma's dad was completely fine. His relationship with Emma had become very good, which was not before today. Emma also got her companion back, but her speaking power was gone, because while going, Marianne's soul takes something with her, but both of them were leaving the town and meet everyone. Emma meets her male friend and tells him about that night, that you came and we spent the night together, but he is surprised to hear this, because he had not come, he got angry and he left from here, here Emma gets very worried, she asks her companion that did Marianne take you to the Black Sea, so she did not say anything, but suddenly she says that yes, I have also seen hell, Emma is surprised and asks again, but she didn't tell anything, Emma was vomiting during her journey, her friend brings a pregnancy kit for her, to check if she is going to become a mother. Emma says, what a joke, nothing like that can happen, I am not married. But when she tests, she was really going to become a mother. Now, there can be two reasons for her becoming a mother. It is possible that the demon came, in the form of Emma's friend that night. He stayed with Emma that night, because he wants to bring Marianne back to life. And there is another form of Marianne in Emma's stomach, the second reason may be that that night Marianne herself, sent her friend to Emma by controlling him. So that by Emma, the second birth of Marianne could be possible. It means she could be born from Emma. Because from the beginning he chose Emma. What do you think? Do tell us in the comment section. This series ends with this scene in suspense.